Hi everyone. This is James here with another Archicad tutorial. And in this video, I want to show you how to create a flow slab in Archicad and also how to place interior furniture that is seats, sofa, tables, plumbing, fixtures on our floor plan. And before we start, I request you to please subscribe to this YouTube channel so that you don't miss on updates when I post new content. Now, if you are ready, let's get started. I will start by showing you this plan that has it's a complete plan with all interior and exterior walls. There is a roof, there is a slab, there are dimensions, and there are labeling on in, in the rooms uh, using text. Like here, bedroom three is, is a room label as a custom text, and there are interior furniture that has have already been put in place so what i want us to do is we will use the same plan but i have the plan open in another archicad window and the plan does not have uh, the interior furniture so we will use that and i will show you how to put up slab in place and how to also create interior furniture for our building plan. Now, just to give you a, uh, a glimpse of how this design looks like, I will go to the 3D window, and this is this is actually the plan that I was showing you. In 3D, this is the house that I have designed in Archicad, and I want to show you how to if, how to place this. Like if you look inside here, you can see a sofa. You can uh, see some chairs here, and then there is a washer basin at this point. So. Let us open the other window so that we can get started with our project. Now this is the plan and I want to start by showing you how to put or how to design a slab in Archicad. Now there are two options to access the slab tool we can go to design up here and then under design tools we select slab tool i hope you can see slab here below the beam tool so click to activate the slab tool alternatively at the left side here there is this menu or rather toolbar under design you can see we have already activated the slab tool so now there are three options that we have or rather geometrical methods that we can use for the configuration of the shape of our slab and the first method here which is this named as polygonal method click to activate it and this is used when the slab or when our floor plan has a complex shape like when I want to create a slab I'll click on this point then you can click on this other point and on this point and it takes the shape that I want to model now that depends on 
what is the shape of my plan and you notice that whenever you click that point forms a node and it's like you are having a series of nodes that get connected together and then the area is filled and that forms our slab now the other one is a rectangular method click on it to activate it now the rectangular method is used when we have a very simple plan either in the shape of a perfect rectangle or in the shape of a perfect square so that when I want to create the plan the sorry not the plan but uh, the slab I will need to click on one point then move my mouse until I am sure that this other second point is where the slab reaches and then on clicking I will have placed my slab alternatively if you know the dimensions of the of the, your floor you can click on one point and then type type the dimensions manually like 8000 that way when you, when you click enter it places itself and then the third option is called the rotated rectangular geometrical method and rotated rectangular geometrical method is helpful when we want to create a shape of a rectangle or a square but that is rotated as, as, as the name suggests like if I click on this point or oh, escape first make sure to activate that if I click on that point I can specify that is the angle of rotation of my slab then click on this other point now I can rank the cursor that way until it reaches the distance that I want to achieve and then click to place it now those are the three geometrical methods that are the options that are available for us to design our slab when using Archicad now let us go back to our plan I will uh, erase this because we are no longer using them click on backspace and then let us go back to <coughs> this plan here if you look at it the most suitable geometrical method to use is the first one polygonal method so I'll click on it to activate it and then I'll start drawing my slab from this corner so it will be just a series of clicking and clicking so let's go Then finally, we come back to the point where we started. So now when I click on that point, the slab has uh, been created. And that's the slab. We can uh, go to the 3D window and preview it. So this is you can see the slab is in 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 place yeah so that was very fast and very simple and uh, i am sure that it's a process that you can 
follow and be able to learn very fast. Now before we go to interior furniture, let me show you just a few customizations that you can make to the slab and I will I will select the slab hold shift button and then click and then go to settings dialog here now if you look at this when this is activated you are able to control the thickness of the slab that you want to achieve so if I want my slab to be 200 I'll type 200 millimeter there if I want it to be 150 millimeter type there that is the thickness of the slab and then you have these other three options uh, so let me activate floor plan geometry this is basically how I want my slab to appear in 2D in my drawings. Now, it is just a simple customization by changing the pen tools depending on the color that I want to have my slab annotated with in, in, in 2D floor plan. And then add a model there there is something called material surfaces like when i draw a wall and i am looking at it in 3d the color that appears that is the surface of that wall now for the model for the slab model if i activate all these surfaces this means by default I will be having my top surface as wooden surface and my edge surfaces as a stack of yellow rough surface and the bottom surface as glossy white paint. So let's just leave it as, as default as it is and then after this tutorial in, in, in later in the series we will discuss how to customize material surfaces so that's it for now for the slab let's discuss how to create interior furniture or how to add and place interior furniture on our floor plan Now, interior furniture, the specific type of furniture that you want to use depends on uh, the space that you are creating. Like if I am dealing with a bedroom, I might want to have a bed. If I'm dealing with a, a washroom, I may need to place some uh, toilet. If I'm dealing with uh, the kitchen, I might need kitchen sink, a washer basin, and uh, yes, among other plumbing fit fittings and fixtures. So to get started, I'll start with the, the kitchen and this space here is where I want to place my kitchen sink. Now, interior furniture in Akikad are available as objects. So to be able to place the interior furniture on my floor plan, I need to activate the objects tool by going to design and then under design tools I will make sure that my object tool is selected alternatively you can go to the left side of your screen and under design here make sure object tool is selected now 
go to the settings dialog for the interior furniture settings dialog now what i want to place on the plan is a kitchen sink so using this button i can type sink and search for the type of the sink that i want to place so you you've got all those options that are available and i want to i want to use this so click on it and uh, let us set this this bottom offset to home story as as zero so that the base of the cabinet lies directly on on the floor so after you've made those changes click on ok and then zoom to the place where you want to place it and click to place it now you notice that uh, that the sink has been placed above the wall and that is not how we want it to be done so i can put it in the correct and the correct location or in the correct space by selecting it and then dragging it to position like this so we have a worktop and we have our kitchen and on this other side we have our dining room which has uh, a wash and basin here there is this worktop and there are three chairs now this space that is left here I want to place a dining set so go back to settings dialog and select want us to type dining type dining oops dining and then we will have uh, this set dining table rectangle 21 activated click on ok and place it here then I will rotate it to the location that I want to place it that is there this is the position that I want my dining set to to be so that's done you see it's it's, it's getting into a good shape now let's go to our sitting room or rather lounge and I'll need to create or rather I'll need to place a table here and then sofa this side sofa this side and sofa this side so I'll go back to the settings dialog making sure that the objects tool is selected and type table and uh, you have all these options so depending on on uh, your taste and preferences or rather if you are designing for a client depending on the client's needs select one of the temples here one of those temple and then click on ok then you can place it here on the floor plan make sure to rotate it to fit the location that or rather the position that you want to place it and then the next thing is so far so I'll go back to settings object default settings dialog type sofa now select sofa 21 click on ok place it here and rotate it to the position that I want I want it to okay rotate 
here that way and then move it to position want it to be there and then I want to create a duplicate of this so for here and one on the other side so I drag a copy of this to this position so control shift D Control Shift D. I'll go to Control Shift D. Sorry, you can uh, use your mouse. Go to Move then drag a copy then move it to that position and then you can also repeat the same let us do mirror a copy then we can have a copy of this at this location then we can uh, select this and then uh, move drag no let's drag a copy here then you can now rotate that copy that way move drag I want to place it here and mirror a copy of that one in this position yeah I think uh, for now let us just have this for the so called sitting room and now we have uh, three bedrooms and I want to place a bend on each bedroom so back to interior furniture settings dialog and type here table sorry we are placing a bed I want to use this okay here here and here select it and move it to your desired position place it there select the other one place it there just position select this and I want to let mirror mirror that way and then drag it so that uh, drag it here and then so you have yes now our interior functions are in place now we have this part here what I call the wet areas I need to place a toilet here and here a bathroom and then a wash at basin somewhere so I'll type WC for toilet then uh, I'll select WC 21 click on OK place it there and then rotate and you can uh, 
drag a copy drag a copy to this position yeah then I want to create or other place but shower that one on the shower tray shower tray shower tray let's type shower and use this one place it here move it to position just size just size and then mirror a copy of that so the last thing is the wash and basin I'll type here WHB or rather I'll type basin and then I'll use basin 21 okay and place it here and adjust this position to this point make it smaller make it smaller and then Mirror copy of that to the other side. Mirror copy. Drag it to position. Now if we look at our plan, we have everything now set. And that is how to place the interior furniture on a floor plan thank you so much for watching this video and congratulations for making it to the end and just to remind you that I make these videos a ton of videos on Akikad Akikad tips and tricks and I show you people I, I show people how to make the best use of their card software and these videos are available on this same YouTube channel and I'll be uploading other videos soon so make sure to subscribe this to this YouTube channel so that you don't miss any of my content when I post new videos now, until next time, keep learning.